Um, okay, but so I mean, for the lens cleaning, just yeah, you'll just need like that lens cleaner stuff and then this sort of tissue paper. Uh huh. Um, these are not reusable, they're just right. one time uses. You uh -huh. don't want to use something like this. That oh, came with it. Do not use the microfiber cloth. Yeah, because that will can leave, there's a possibility that that can leave fibers um, on uh, the lens left over, and that's not good for that. Sure. Uh, Top and bottom. Mm -hmm. So, what you basically do is you rip off a sheet, fold right. it up. And you um, clean your dad's epilogue yeah. lenses all the time like that? Uh, yeah, usually like every two weeks at most. He just does a lot of heavy uh, engraving because he uses it for his business. So, I mean, it de you have to only clean it depending on how much you use it. So, you take this, fold it up, spray, oh, okay. like, wait, have to wet it. To it. Mm -hmm. um, like, do, like, one spray mm -hmm. into the cloth, and then on the bottom, just go in a circular motion. That air is happening, because air is coming out of that hole, so, um, just do it in a... Oh, air is coming out of the hole in your... Let, no, never mind, don't clean there, because there's no lens down there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. that thing right. Uh, go right. up here... <laughs> And so, going up here with this cloth, uh -huh. with liquid on it, you rub it in a circular motion okay. so you're evenly wetting it. Uh -huh. And then, once that looks sufficient, you make sure you get into all the corners. Then, okay. you take another sheet. Um, yeah, but that was at home. Um, you take another sheet, uh -huh. fold it up, a dry sheet, don't wet it, and then you... Uh, to dry it out. To, to, and then you dry it out mm -hmm. with this. And that's the basis of how you clean Wow, that was, was pretty grubby. Dirty. Look at that. It's a little dirty. Yeah. yeah. Depending on how much... It might come off the bottom. <sighs> yeah. Uh, depending, like, we could, this actually might be a good time. I want uh, to clean the mirrors. Yeah, you, that's what I'm going to do. You can clean, you can get it by just by cleaning this, but after, like, some time, you'll pr it'll probably be a good idea to clean everything else. No, you can't even reach that, can you? Oh, you can? Okay. Yeah. Go there. Get in there and clean that. And then, with this, you can go ahead and take the same one and reuse it, the wet one, and reuse it on all of them, so you're not using a tissue paper for each, mm -hmm. each piece. I know one of those had fingerprints all over it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. one of them. Um, and there's one. On and the, the laser side. was saying, "Oh, oh, oh!" here, oh. isn't there? What you mean this? Well, what's that? This is the red dot. Oh. We don't have to clean that. Um, the laser comes through here, and that's the red dot. So, um, there's one. Is there one on here? No. The laser. The laser goes through here. Right. It doesn't go through here. It never reaches here. Oh. It go. The laser goes view. View, view, view. It doesn't reach over here. Okay. So, and then again, take a dry piece. That's a bad rip, but it doesn't matter. Um, take a dry piece and then clean out or dry off all of them, making sure not to get your finger on it. Uh, then you'd have to reclean it again. Maybe a little vacuum, right? Yeah, you'll need a little a little vacuum to get out the dust out of here occasionally if you're okay. using this regularly. So that um, makes sense. And the rails, it might get on the rails. Yeah, like with my dad's, every month-ish, month and a half, we take off the sides. It's a little really? more difficult with this yeah. one, but we take off the sides and then we get all the dust out of stuff. Really? But wow. This, you actually don't have to do too much because in the in my dad's, all the components are hidden behind walls. Here, you can clearly see everything. Yeah. So you don't really have to take apart anything. Oh, um, interesting. 